Hello there. So we just had a major reveal at the end of the last episode, ladies and gentlemen, that there is now another island in addition to the island that we have been following since the beginning of our lost journey. Now, I had a couple of questions at the end of the last reaction. And another question I have right now is that, you know, this island itself must be positioned from the other side of the island. Um, so that's how the others are able to access it, in my opinion. I think it's overlooking where the others possibly were camping on the other side of the island. Um, hence why our survivors haven't been able to see it. But another question is, Sun Jin and Saeed, um, you know, have been sailing across the island or around the island. Um, and they were in that, you know, they were in that vicinity. They were in that area. They were in um, that space where the others, you know, were camping, um, you know, when they conduct, uh, when, when, where they made that fake camp. So I don't know how they didn't see that there is another, uh, another island overlooking um, the island itself, unless the island, like, you know, has some sort of cloaking ability um, or it's like a force field around it you know um that conceals itself from the other island um because it, you know no one's meant to know it's there um so yeah it's interesting it's interesting it's going to be unbelievable to watch how it all plays out so yeah what's going on guys my name is ellie moses a 24 year old law and film shit and he for senior show absolutely shitty shot and today we are up to episode five now of lost season three this one is titled the cost of living we're going to get into the reaction we're going to have some fun with this thing and as always let's absolutely smash it let's go Oh, Mr. Rekko and Yemi. <laughs> it's okay, Yemi. Echo? That's crazy. The same church Yemi became a priest at. All right, Echo. Go. Did you hear me? Go. Confess that you have stolen. <laughs> Yemi was hungry. That is not an excuse. You have sinned, Echo. Hunger does not matter. Confess that you have stolen, eh? Confess. That's crazy. That the, the nun's voice was so loud. The priest been like this. The priest just sitting there in the confession chamber. She's just here. Confess that you have stolen. He's like he knows what's coming. Like the priest knows. Ah, uh, he stole. You know his little brother was hungry, but like, it's just like the priest just sitting there, like hearing everything. A couple days now. Stay alive, dude. Okay. Locke probably feels very important at the moment. He's the man. Locke wants to know you're alive now. It's not Jack, it's Locke. <laughs> I, I just don't know about the writing decision. To have another island out of nowhere. I've come to give my confession. Like, they RKO'd that island on us. <laughs> Hello, Echo. Hello, brother. New drugs. You will make us priests and we will fly the drugs out ourselves. Mr. Echo episode. Not I'm drugs. not complaining. I'm not complaining. You could never be a priest. Probably my favorite character at the moment. Up there with Desmond, potentially. Oh, Top two. I said it on stream last week. Father. Are you okay, Father? Echo. Echo, wake up. One of them visions again. It is time to confess. He to can't. Judged. You will speak when you have something to say. I will be waiting. Similar to Locke, right? You know where to find me. Was that the island doing its thing right there with the tent setting fire? Okay. My brother. I know Yemi had the lighter. Brother. You're all right. Brother. Yemi. Yemi. Charlie. 
Is everyone okay? Yeah, we're good. Where's Echo? Early night. Hold him out. Over. Echo? Damn, nobody saw Echo escape like that? Yeah, get them reps in, Jack. Get them reps in, son. No rest for the wicked, even in the prison. Good evening, Jack. Good evening, Ben. <laughs> I was hoping you might join me for a walk. Oh, he loves his walks. What? When you say that, like, you're not going to just throw a bag over my head and drag me out of here if I say no. And don't say no. Is he introducing the other island separately to them? <laughs> Let's put this on. I'll wait up. They going on a pilgrimage. Does it hurt? Sorry. Your neck. Does it hurt? You talking about the tumor? Any numbness in your fingers and toes, like pins and needles when your foot falls asleep, but permanent. Why are you asking me these questions, Jack? Because, Ben, you have a tumor on your spine, an aggressive tumor that is going to kill you. And they, they really go in hand with this, like, already. I don't know when those x-rays were taken that I saw, but unless they were very recent, I'm not going to be taking walks much longer. I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. My mistake, then. The, the way I know Ben's probably trying to play it off, but I'm ready whenever you are. I don't think Ben knew the x rays were up on the wall potentially. Did Juliet put them there for Jack to see? And Juliet knows what's going on with Ben because Ben, the look right there from Michael Emerson is just like, How the F did you find out? You weren't supposed to know that right now. Stay here. How many funerals does Jack have to attend? You know what? I like that the others wear white to a funeral. Why did you show him my x-ray? Also, it was Juliet. I didn't tell him they were yours. But I guess you did. But she left them up there on purpose. I think I know how to find Jack, Kate, and Sawyer. Can I ask why he's being included in the conversation? Is that supposed to help my feelings? <laughs> Tell him what you told me. The computer in the hatch wasn't only for pushing the button. Um, Pretty sure it could be used to communicate with other stations. This is fascinating. You just told me the hatch exploded. One of them did. You want to try and communicate with the others? Yep. No luck, dudes. We looked everywhere. Echo's gone. There's no trail. Not that we like know what a trail looks like. <laughs> when you pulled him out of the tent, did he say anything? Nothing coherent. He's mumbling. My brother. Brother. Said, pack your gear. We're going to that computer. Wait, what about Echo? We'll catch up to him. We're all going to the same place. Are they going back to the plane? Is Echo going back to the plane? Is the question mark? Come on, Mr. Echo. We need that R and R, man. You're home, father. So uh, I'm guessing this is immediately following Yemi's death. <laughs> the boys, man, the boys. Father? 
Oh, I was looking for Father Yemi. Oh, the black smoke, the black smoke. Ah, oh, crap. And that white light shining on Echo. Oh, that. This no, is probably. No, please. Yeah. No. The island showing him his past. Damn, Daniel! Yeah, he having that he having that boon moment here. But he doesn't have the What do you mean anybody wanna come along? Okay, open I mean, invitation. If you'd like to join us, it's a free island. <laughs> yeah, see Jack would go and do stuff alone. Or he'd take Saeed or Kate. Yeah, well. I'm not Jack. This is the lock regime, man. <laughs> More the merrier. I'll go. Hey, yo. What? Anybody else want to come meet us at the tree line in 10 minutes? Bring water. We're not kids. What? You always whine about not being included. Now's your chance. Okay. So, yeah, this guy, this character, again, he's getting more time to shine. Do you mind if I ask you a question, brother? Shoot. Are we going off to poke at the computer? Or are we going after your man, Echo? Two birds, one stone. Echo's heading for the plane that crashed on top of the entrance to the Pearl Station. Well, that's quite a coincidence. Don't mistake coincidence for fate. <laughs> we might have luck back. <laughs> The thing is, Mr. Echo doesn't have the substance that, you know, Boone had on his head, on the back of his head. So this must be the Black Smoke, yeah? Doing this to him, or the island again. Now, the fact that Daniel... The fact that Daniel was present in, you know, Echo's visions right there, doesn't give me hope for his fate right now. Because a lot of those individuals are potential oh, yeah. people that Echo has him. seen dead in his life. Who wants to know? We receive shipments of vaccines from the Red Cross. We're allowed to keep 20%. The rest we give to Emeka and his men. In exchange for protection. Protection. <laughs> well, you see, Father. Everybody is happy, huh? Everybody is happy. Everybody benefits. Benefits. Bro, I hope you will continue to honor our arrangements. <laughs> I'm not afraid of you. You don't want more lives on your conscience. Conscience. <laughs> Wait, so this Emeka individual does not know who Echo is potentially, like in his past. Because didn't Echo used to roll with these type of men? Like these type of boys? <coughs> Must belong to a different gang. And it's a different arrangement Yemi had with different people. <coughs> the black smoke hovering over him. Black Smoke has been MIA for a while. And Jack always sitting in the naughty corner <laughs> when Juliet brings him the food. You wanna guess what's for lunch? Oh damn, she cooked him up something nice today. I'm not I'm not big on mysteries. Brother, this whole show is a mystery. Of course you're not. Oh, it's a Krabby Patty. That's mad. Do people have cheeseburgers? 
You have no idea what I went through to make this for you. Y'all deep. I killed the cow, processed the meat, baked the bun, and the fries. Try rendering animal fat. Yo, just just make sure Plankton don't get a hold Ketchup. of that. The mood killer. I'd like to talk to him. Okay, so talk to him. Alone. Jack hella comfortable now. Thanks for being here. And I'm thrilled that you're fine, Jack, but it's private. Doctor patient confidentiality. <laughs> we all know what the subject matter of this conversation is. Sure. Of course. Mind if I eat? Yo, they have access to the bikini bottom. That's crazy. You had such a wonderful plan to break you, Jack. Break me? Wear you down till you were convinced we weren't your enemies. Get you to trust us. And then, of course, we'd lead you to believe that you were choosing to do whatever we asked you to do. All of this, of course, assumed that you would get invested. Invested in what? Has it not occurred to you that Juliet bears a striking resemblance to your ex-wife? I said all the blonde women look the same in this show. I said that, but I didn't think it was intentional. I just thought they all looked the same and I was getting confused. They did that on purpose? That's crazy. That is insane. That that's that I think he just toying with Jack here, man. Listen, Jack will help him with the tumor. You don't need to break him to get help. You don't need to do that. Come on, man. Jack loves saving people. What he's Why good at. Are you telling me this? I'm telling you this, Jack, because my wonderful plan got shot to sunshine when you saw my damned x-rays and figured out I was dying. You brought me here to operate on you. You, you want me to save your life. No, I want you to want to save me. There's a difference. <laughs> but we're beyond that now, so. All I can ask is that you think about it. That's so interesting. I think Jack will do it. Knowing Jack. He won't let he won't let it slide. Like do you believe in God, Jack? Do you? Two days after I found out I had a fatal tumor on my spine, a spinal surgeon fell out of the sky. And if that's not proof of God, I don't know what is. Yo, I'm, I'm, I, I, do I, is it me or do I feel bad for Ben? You know, their execution sometimes is questionable. But they're just taking precaution. Hey, you sure you're all right? We can stop for a bit and catch our breath. But it could be him playing Jack as well at the same time. The sympathy card. You're heading for the plane wreckage, aren't you? Another Oscar-worthy performance. Charlie heard you call out for your brother before you left the camp. Is that what you're doing over here? Looking for Yemi? Hey! Do not speak my brother's name again. What are you so afraid of, Echo? Yemi is a very sensitive topic at the moment. It has to be done by Sunday. I'm leaving the country. No problem. I love how, you know, the taxi had taxi spray painted on the windscreen. Like that that's just that's the just over awesome. By the plane. Why don't you take everybody down? And you? I'll be there in a minute. Season three's cooking, man. Season three's cooking. His brother's body is in that plane. How does Nikki know that? Someone must have filled her in. I saw a very bright light. <laughs> it was beautiful. That is not what I saw. The lock hasn't spoken to Echo since the hatch thing, so. This would be very interesting to see. Because I feel like we possibly got season lock season one lock back here. 
You know, the very curious on a mission lock. Embracing the island itself. Alright, bro, that's a gun. Is that the black Except smoke? The plane on fire. Yemi's body could have burned. Not to mention animals or... No, I will wait for it. What? Oh, I forgot. I found this when I was looking for you. The cross. Hello, Father. I hear you have a shipment of vaccine for sale. Where's these times <laughs> Junior's back? If you thought you could do this without me knowing, you don't know who I am. I'm only going to cut off your hands. Damn, look. These guys don't know that Locke is built this way. Now I'm guessing these are the guys Locke was seeing in the forest. No. No. You do not know who I am. They don't really know he built like that. I'm Dr. Mark Wickman, and this is the orientation film for Station okay. 5. So he, his name is not Mark, right? Because he used a different name in the other orientation film. So is he using different aliases for each orientation? And that's just um, part of the whole Dharma Initiative thing to keep everything secret um, to ensure that the individuals at the different stations um, don't know the same thing. It's just all part of keeping everything secretive. Um, and I believe you guys, or one of the comments said, and it was a reminder that in the first orientation film, or one of the orientation films, I think it was the first one, he had one arm, and in this one he has two. So that's before the incident, maybe? Is a monitoring station for the activities of participants in Dharma Initiative projects. All these TVs. This guy says that there's six stations. All right, check it out. They're for monitoring, man. Projects, more than one. So maybe some of these TVs are connected to the other hatches. Well, I'm suddenly feeling very stupid. <laughs> Thank I'm you, Nikki. Catching one of the other feeds. See if we can get another picture. As if they didn't think of that. No toilet still works. Nothing. What about now? Okay, we got something. John? We're cooking. Yeah, we got something. We're cooking. What is it? That's a good question. Hmm, those are computers. Great. That's what you're looking for. Now we can get out of here. Oh my gosh. Who the f... What does that look like? Oh my gosh. Look at Locke. Locke's like, hang on. Locke's so. I guess you'll be expecting this. He's relishing this. Yeah, he's loving it. Oh my gosh. That kind of looked like. um, What's his name? Oh, I forgot his name. I forgot his name. I forgot his name. Oh, what's his name? What's his name? I gotta. Oh, no, no, no. It's all. It looked like him. I'm not. I don't think it is him, but. Uh, I know which movie he's in, so I'll search up this movie. Um, but it did look like him. Um, one second, one second, one second. Um, it looked like him. It looked like him. Um, Ron Perlman. It looked like Ron Perlman. Yeah, yeah, Ron Perlman. That was... Uh, 
So clearly one of the other six stations on the island is still enclosed and operating potentially. Um, and that guy who is operating that station, um, you know, hasn't had any contact with the outside world up until now. He probably saw the security cameras start flashing and thinking, hang on a second, somebody's spying down on me. Like, that's interesting. I haven't had that in a while. <laughs> he got the eye patch and everything. You don't trust me anymore? I trust you just fine. Just thought I'd put a movie in. You know what? I'm gonna pass on the movie. I like don't this pump. one, Jack. It's a killer mockingbird. It's a classic. Julia, I don't wanna watch a movie. I'll right turn now. the sound down then. We could have picked a better movie. I know it's a classic, but like, come on. I felt like I should apologize. Say I'm sorry. I'm sorry for bringing you here. And for everything that's been done to you and your friends. You have to know. We were desperate. I think she genuinely means it. It was all so we could save his life. Ben. He does mean it, yep. He's a great man. I know you find that hard to believe, but he is. Hey, see, show don't tell. I was saying that last episode um, with Kate and Sawyer. You know, Sawyer potentially, like, obviously ends up being a con. Um, but I was potentially, like, saying, I know they were, like, you know, um, being spied upon. But I was like, possibly Sawyer can indicate to Kate, you know, that I've been opened up in the heart area. Look, look. And then she would have to try, you know, and visually communicate it. Um, and that's what, that's, that's what Julia is exactly doing here. Probably feel like you don't have a choice, but you do, Jack. Yo, big up, Juliet. That's all we've really got, right? She wants him to botch the surgery. Anyway. Or the operation, sorry. Just wanted to put in my two cents. Oh my gosh! Oh my, Juliet, you putting that on him? You putting that on his conscience? I told you before you can trust me. I hope Juliet doesn't flip flop between sides here. I want you to trust me. Now, when I tell you that doing the surgery is absolutely the right thing for you to do. What if she playing Jack? It's the right thing because he deserves to live. Jack would never intentionally botch a surgery. No way. Turn the movie off. Jack. Turn he it off. No. He doesn't have it within him to do that. No way. Right. It's off. No way. Obviously, this is so interesting here. Think about what I said. Please. Because Jack, Jack can bargain a lot, I feel like, with the potential surgery because Ben is dying. And he could say, listen, I'll do the surgery. I'll, like, I'll do the operation. I'll save your life. If you save the rest of ours, if you get us off this island, there it, there, there doesn't need to be a botched surgery. Like, F the others. Like, stuff you guys. We want out. Me and my friends want out of this island. Not, not the island. Not the Alcatraz island. The other island. Like, just out of this, out of this area in general. Um, so, he could potentially say, listen, I will save your life because that is what I do. Um, but I want to, you know, make sure that me and my friends will get off this island and return to the real world. That's what I think Jack should do in this situation. Um, and if we've seen before, listen, Ben is a man of his word. Look what he did with Michael and Walt. He gave Walt back. Um, we don't know what they did with Walt still, um, but he gave Walt back and he gave Michael the boat. So he is a man of his word. Um, and listen, I know, you know, I've talked about Time and time again, Michael Emerson's performance, absolutely fantastic. So he does put on those Oscar-worthy performances. And Juliet could be telling the truth about how dangerous he is. And we just haven't really, really seen that yet. Um, but maybe Juliet is toying with Jack here. She's playing with him because 
potentially maybe, yeah, there has been a little bit, uh, and we know that, we know already that the others are not sort of, um, they're not like, you know, Juliet left him out of the book club, for example, um, in the first episode of season three. Um, but yeah, they're, they're not like a full blown, um, you know, there's, there's a little bit of disruption here and there. They're not a, like a, a full blown cooperation. Um, no, sorry. They're not a, like, they're not an operation without sort of, um, how do I explain it? Like, You've seen it before, like there are certain decisions being made by other other members, and Jack, uh, sorry, and Ben did not approve of that without like sort of his approval. They went behind his back and said it. So there's yeah, there's a little bit of disruption in the hierarchy here, similar to our um, beach survivors, similar to the arguments they've had um, multiple times during the course of the series. So the others have probably had those moments as well, and yeah, Juliet has seen more of that obviously um but i'm not too sure if she's lying about it to potentially just yeah to get ben out of here um he possibly is dangerous but i i don't think jack has it in him to intentionally botch a surgery like that and that's going to be interesting to see because if he does save ben's life what are the repercussions of that going to be um what is ben going to do after that um i just hope that you know jack provides listen you're gonna have to go on possibly um ben's word but i hope jack sort of tries to secure an insurance policy for the operation on ben by potentially saying listen um if i do this you get us out of here and i do not mean me kate and you know sawyer off this little alcatraz island i mean everyone else off this whole area like back to the real world we'll see how it plays out this is interesting here I love it. I love it. I love this episode. I've been loving every episode of season three. Are you a bad man? Oh, he is a bad man. He is a bad man. My mom says you're a bad man. Only God knows. <laughs> <laughs> I see you have your vaccine. Do you expect me to be grateful? I know what you were planning to do. Those men. Those men will be replaced by other men. That is true. The militia would just recycle what itself. What is the meaning of this? We are boarding up the church. We can no longer use it. This is Yemi's church. You have no right to do this. It is no longer sacred. I wonder you'll be judged for what you did. If I were you. I will start making my peace now. I will go to London and begin to repent. Because you owe God for every life you've taken. And you truly believe this is Yemi? You owe him one church. So that's why he was building the church on the island. And he should continue to build that church. In Yemi's name. Damn. Yeah, so is this so Wait. similar to how sort of um Walt was projecting himself to Shannon yeah. and other characters? Yemi. Yeah, Yemi's yeah, projecting himself you from the afterlife. Why? Why now, eh? Show yourself. Show yourself. Where are you? Where? This is what this show does, man. My head is absolutely spinning at the moment. Especially with the Juliet-Jack interaction we just had. Beautiful tracking shot right there. I'm ready. I hope this doesn't mean what I think it means. I ask for no forgiveness, Father. For I have not sinned. I have only done what I needed to do to survive. A small boy once asked me if I was a bad man. If I could answer him now, I would tell him that when I was a young boy, I killed a man to save my brother's life. 
I am not sorry for this. I, I am proud of this. Big up Echo, man. I did not ask for the life that I was given. But it was given, nonetheless. And with it, I did my best. You speak to me as if I were your brother. Who are you? This is the island, man. This is the island playing tricks on you. This ain't Yemi. Who are you? Who are you? I, I love those wide shots right there. And then you also had the beautiful tracking shot. Um um across uh the screen right there um you know across those um plants whatever they were they, you almost get the sense it's almost as if like it's an afterlife place um sort of like a heavenly like experience right there with the wide shot of yemi um and echo looking at one another it was sort of establishing the scene right there as echo was coming out of the forest then like i said you had the camera pan around and then the tracking shot of it coming across to reveal yemi waiting there for echo But I get what Echo... Oh, far out the black smoke, man. But I get what Mr. Echo was saying in terms of, like, he did what he needed to do to survive. Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want to... Psalm 23. No, don't tell me they're going to kill Echo. Come on, fight back, Echo. Fight back, fight back. Come on. Where's everyone else? Come on, lock. Get your ass out. Get your ass out. Come on. Oh, man. He taking hits. He ta If they kill Echo here, I'm a flip. Have you seen the key and pill skit with him destroying all the freaking desks at the school? I'm a flip. Echo. I guess the smoke monster did really get to one of our own now. Come on, Echo. Come on, Echo. No, 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 no. I swear, if we lose Echo, I'm a flip. Like, I'm a fl I'm a genuinely flip. He's my favorite character at the it's moment. Okay. It's okay. I got tears in my eyes, man. I I'm not losing Mr. Echo now. What did he say to Locke? What did he say to Locke? SON OF A BITCH! No, man! No! Oh. You know how much I flipped out? My earphone is still in! My little thing is still in! It collapsed! Oh! That's balls! That's balls! No, Echo, man! Is this a sacrifice the island demanded as well? I'm genuine, like, I'm genuinely pissed off. Because I, I said it in a stream last week. Echo and Desmond were possibly my top two favorite characters at the moment in the show. And I, I, I included Desmond, um, despite him having limited appearances thus far at the time I was doing the stream. But Mr. Echo, man, like, are you telling me I'm going to have to go more than three seasons now without ever seeing him again? Potentially maybe an airport flashback. But oh, that's cap, man. Why? Let's take someone else. I was getting teary-eyed, man. But there's, oh, there's, there's something poetic and beautiful about the final shot being him and Yemi in the art, uh, like sort of in. Oh, that's that's. I'm actually getting teary-eyed right now, because like there's something beautiful about him. You know, this adds a whole another meaning to see you in another life, brother, because he's in another life now with his actual brother. That photo, or like not photo, that shot. That wide shot of him and Yemi walking as kids with their backs to the camera and walking into the distance almost as if like they're walking into another life. 
Fuck, man. Demonetize me. I don't care. John. He said we we're next. Yeah, the smoke monster, like he, he heard some. Oh, man. I missed the echo. <laughs> no, man. You guys know how much I love Mr. Echo. That sucks. That's actually balls. Like, that's actually big balls, man. <laughs> you know what? At the same time, I think, like, it's it, it's really, it's really ballsy from the show to do that. Like, I, I actually respect the decision um, to have one of our major characters um, perish at the hands of the smoke monster um, and then to deliver that message, where next? Um, it's almost as if saying, listen, we've seen what the smoke monster can do, but it's almost as if it's saying right there, I can come get you at any time and you ain't getting away from this. Yeah, Locke maybe had a lucky escape. Um, it was beautiful. It like it, it was beautiful with everything with Yemi as well. Um, but I don't think that was the smoke monsters doing. I think that was just a representation of what was going to happen, um, you know, in heaven and Yemi visiting his brother, um, and him having that interaction, basically saying, I'm not going to confess for anything because I did what I needed to do to survive. In my eyes, I did not sin because that was the lifestyle I was brought up into. And you can see me, oh man, because I'm a, I'm a religious individual right there. Right. And I think that was beautifully told that episode, especially like with uh, the 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 family aspect of it with it being you know Echo's brother I just wish it didn't come now um I just wish it didn't come now because yeah it's Mr Echo and I think it like listen I respect the show for doing it because I feel like at the time I could be wrong I could be wrong completely but at the time I feel like Mr Echo was maybe an adored character in the fan base like he was loved by all um and you know, that was basically the creative saying, we can do this at any time to any character you love. Um, and we can pull the trigger at that any time. Uh, you know, we've, you know, had the conversation about Ana Lucia um, and, you know, um, her hatred from the fan base. Um, she wasn't that well loved, but I, I didn't mind her. I liked her. Like, I like Michelle Rodriguez as well. Um, I think she did a pretty good job. I liked Ana Lucia. Um, but man, the tail section survivors, like who's left? Bernard, Cindy got taken. We don't even know what happened to Cindy still. All the other tail section survivors that were taken in the night. The tail section survivors haven't had it easy. It's like the smoke monster is discriminating. It's discriminating at the moment, man. Besides the pilot, but like, <laughs> it's like... <laughs> It's discriminating. It's taking all the all the tail section survivors are dying. I know, I I know, you know, Libby and Anna Lucia didn't die like that, but like still, man. Bernard is oh man, why Mr. Reco? I like him, man. Like I like the actor who plays him. I wanted more of him. He just had to stay in that tent, man. He just had to stay in that tent. Oh man, that sucks actually. It, it sucks, but in a way, I respect it from the creatives, right, as well, like I was saying, um, to kill off a major character like that, and um, the way it was told, it was so beautiful um, with Yemi. I just wish maybe it came after. I just wish it came after, because basically, we had Mr. Echo survive, uh, you know, the flashing lights Kanye West style uh, with whatever happened um, in the hatch. And then taken to the tent, rescued, you know, from the polar bear. And then he dies in the next episode he's in when he was meant to be getting that rest. Um, oh, that sucks, man. Two people who had visions of the island and visited that plane, man, perished. Like Boone um, and, you know, Mr. Wrecker right now. But at, like I said, it sucks so bad, but it was beautifully told. And, you know, I think having that shot right there of him and Yemi um, walking um, together as younger brothers, um, as children as well. Oh man, that hits, that hits. It's basically, yeah, them being able to live out their lives in heaven together again. Because ever really, ever since, you know, Mr. Reco um, took the life of that guy um, to save Yemi's life, they haven't been able to really live out their lives as brothers. This is their second chance to do that. Oh man, I love it. What a fantastic episode of Lost, ladies and gentlemen. Mini Boyly Moses. Take care. God bless. Peace.